Bio superfood number three. Then you've got the need for hydration. Dr. Alexis Carroll wrote a book called Man the Unknown and he recorded in there that his cell studies on chicken heart tissue showed that when he would feed the cells every day and clean the cells every day of their metabolic waste that the heart cells from the chicken embryo remain youthful and eternally. They did not age until the metabolic waste began to accumulate in and around the tissues and once that happened the cell would begin to age and eventually die. And so he did this experiment where Normally, a chicken could live maximum 7 to 14 years. That's the maximum life of, an, of a normal chicken. But as a result of these studies, he kept the, the tissue of, of a chicken alive for 28 years, showing that when he kept the cells clean and fed them properly, that they basically weren't immortal. So part of keeping the cells clean is the proper hydration, which means the quality of the water you drink has to have the proper structure so that it can go in into the cells cleanse the cells, gather up all the metabolic wastes, and carry them out to the kidneys or the bowels for elimination. Now, that doesn't take place in today's uh, culture because water sits inside copper pipes where it's not exposed to the beneficial electromagnetic fields of the earth or the, the benefits of running over rocks and minerals where structure is imparted <clears throat> to the water. Um, and so you end up having a water that's lost its structure and therefore its ability to hydrate you, not to mention it's extremely toxic if it's coming from a reservoir where it's been treated with chlorine and fluoride, which you don't want. Um, so most people have a water filtration system that's at least purifying their water, but it's not restructuring it properly. <clears throat> and even things like the um, water ionization technologies that are out there do create some increased hydration ability. They're still not the optimum in my experience. My preferred water technology is called the Electron 4 Water Distiller. You can, you can see it on the CocoonNutrition.org website. Type in Electron 4 and you can look on that. That's the best water technology I've found over the years, far surpassing even the water ionizers. <clears throat> but in the event you can't afford that kind of a device, I recommend as a substitute that you take your pure water from your filtration system and you add a capsule of Mega H to it twice a day minimum or more. And Mega H is invented by Patrick Flanagan. It's an electron donor product that alkalinizes the water, reduces the surface tension of the water, so the water can hydrate you. I don't know what percentage more, but it's a whole lot more. So your water can literally cleanse your cell structures, hydrate your cells much better, keeping the cells clean of their own metabolic wastes, which is what you want. Not to mention quenching a lot of free radicals, which is what this can do because it's full of electrons, and that'll help stop free radical damage in your body. Um, stop inflammation. In fact, I use this when I fly on planes, especially internationally, because if I take enough of it, I don't notice any jet lag, because the jet lag is caused from damage to your cell structures as a result of gamma radiation coming through the plane and bombarding your cells and ripping, ripping cells open from electrons uh, being ruptured, or the electrons uh, theft, you could say, off of the cells. <clears throat> and so, Mega H also alkalinizes in addition to protecting you in the other ways I just described. So Mega H added to your water or taken as a capsule will help you to hydrate your body and keep your cell structures clean. So there you have it. You have five products that are in the Learn the Secrets to Youth package that are outstanding to contribute to your longevity, quality of life, and perhaps even some age reversal. My name is Stephen Hewer with Cocoon Nutrition. Thanks for your time and attention. Feel free to call us at 888-988-3325-95 uh, or 930 to 5. East Coast time. Thanks for your time.